Hi everyone, after a long break, the Honor of Kings test server was updated yesterday. For those who don't know, the test server is where new content is released to gather feedback from players. Since the content is often incomplete, it's usually full of bugs and glitches. These changes are likely to be included in the official server's update next season. Since there wasn't any patch note for this update, I'll be showing you the changes I found in today's video, so make sure to watch till the end. The main menu UI has been slightly updated, now featuring a more minimalistic look. The post-game UI has also been changed, though it's still in the testing phase, so the animations are mostly incomplete. A new trait section is now available in the shop, featuring custom buttons for the game. There are currently four unique button layouts available, with more to come in the future. These custom buttons modify your in-game movement wheel and attack button, offering a unique look compared to the standard ones. However, you need to purchase them separately, as they don't come bundled with skins. Also, you can't use the unique buttons from one skin on other heroes or skins. They only work with the specific skin they were designed for. I tested this in the game and it doesn't work with other skins. So it's basically extra customization for your favorite skin at the cost of 188 tokens. This feature will be introduced in the next season's update. Now let's take a look at the reworks and adjustments. Interestingly, Dodgy received a rework in this test server update. At first glance, her skills seem unchanged, but there's a twist. When all her skills go on cooldown, she transforms into a fox. In her fox form, all of her skills are enhanced, but you can only use one enhanced skill before she reverts to her human form. While in fox form, she continuously regenerates health. Her enhanced first skill unleashes three shockwave blasts at the target, dealing massive damage. Her enhanced second skill deals area damage and stuns all targets within the skill's range. It's more stronger than her normal second skill and can stun multiple enemies at once, making it a strong crowd control tool. Her enhanced ultimate fires an additional five hearts at the target, totaling 10 hearts and delivering high burst damage. With enough items, this skill can instantly delete any target. Overall, Dodgy's rework allows her to transform into a fox, enhancing all her skills. Since she can only use one enhanced skill at a time, you'll need to decide which one to use based on the situation. Keep in mind that this rework is still incomplete, so we'll have to wait for the final release to see all the details. Ukyo's first skill has been adjusted in this update, bringing some interesting changes to his gameplay. Now, he can use the second phase of his first skill without needing a target, but there's a slight delay before you can activate it. However, if you hit a target with the first phase, you can still use the second phase instantly, just like before. A new feature has been added where Ukyo leaves a mark on the ground after using the first skill. If you use the second phase near this mark, the skill becomes enhanced, allowing Ukyo to slash enemies in a larger area. This enhanced version also reduces the cooldown of his ultimate by one second. Overall, these adjustments make Ukyo more versatile and effective, especially in ranked matches, by giving him better control over his skills and cooldowns. Gan and Mo's skills have been adjusted in this update, bringing some new mechanics to their second and third skills. You'll notice that both skills now have two stacks available. However, these stacks are interconnected meaning that using one skill will consume a stack from both the second and third skills. This gives you the flexibility to use the second and third skills individually like before, or you can now choose to use one of them twice. Their ultimate has also been adjusted. While it still enhances the second and third skills as before, it now also refreshes their cooldowns. Using the ultimate will immediately grant two stacks and enhance the skills, allowing you to use the normal skills first, and then follow up with the ultimate to use them again. These adjustments make Gan and Mo more versatile and effective, allowing them to use their skills more frequently and adapt to different situations in battle. A new casual game mode called Mechcraft Veteran is now available in the test server. This mode is essentially a roguelite experience where you clear waves of enemies, gather gold, and purchase interesting weapons to become stronger. The goal is to defeat enemies within a time limit, collect gold, and buy weapons and items that increase your chances of survival. You can use various weapons and even merge them to create more powerful versions.
each stage consists of several waves that you need to survive, ending in a final boss battle. If you manage to defeat the boss, you'll complete the stage. Additionally, other heroes can be unlocked by progressing through the stages. This mode is a lot of fun, and you can earn rewards by completing stages. I'm looking forward to playing this more once it releases on the global server. They've added Japanese voiceover to the new Xiao Chao's flawless skin, which sounds quite nice in my opinion. Lastly, I came across a strange bug in the game. When you activate the Vision Spirit, some weird grass pops up in the map. It's unclear if this is something they'll officially add to the game or if it's just a glitch. So let me know what do you think. And that's all for the test server update. Since there's no patch note available for this update, I covered the changes that I found. If I missed anything, please let me know in the comments. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and feel free to subscribe if you want to see more. As always, thank you for watching.